Welcome back as Final Fantasy Rebirth received a new update a few days ago that added support for DLSS multi-frame generation. It also includes some bug fixes, improves the game's overall stability. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use DLSS for upscale in conjunction with XCSS or FSR frame generation. With the former, XCSS 2 latency mode will work and with the latter, NVIDIA Reflex will work. These technologies help in cutting down the latency. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to achieve this. I have already done my testing. Both of these frame generation techniques work very nicely. You can use either. The game supports DLSS frame generation and streamline version 2.8. So I'll be using DLSS GUI streamline as the frame generation source in OptiScaler mod for enabling FSR or XCSS frame gen. In this way, we won't be required to deal with hotfix. The game comes with DLSS for upscaler TLL file version 310.3.0. But out of the box, the model preset is set to E. It's the CNN model of DLSS. DLSS auto exposure setting is also disabled. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to change the model preset to K, which will activate the transformer model of DLSS. So we'll also use the mod to enable DLSS auto exposure setting. Game is not very upscaling friendly, produces some noticeable ghosting around our character model. So I'll be using DLA4, running the game at native resolution with DLSS and deleasing. We'll be using OptiScaler's latest preview 5 version 0.9.0202510311 build available on their Discord server. I'll give the link to their Discord in the description of the video. Just click on the dot .cmz link here. We'll be verifying DLSS upscaler's details using DLSS debug overlay. I'll activate the overlay by executing this registry code provided by Emos. Just copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay and change the extension from .txt to .reg hit enter yes select the file right click open with notepad paste the lines here click on file save close run this registry file right click open yes ok that's it now I'll install optiscaler mod just open its archive file select the highlighted files optiscaler.ini mods configuration file optiscaler.tll mod loader file libxcss underscore fg.dll xcss frame generation file dx11 version of xcss super resolution not required libxcss.tll file xcss super resolution file for dx12 and vulkan apis libxcll.tll file xcss low latency mode file fake nvapi.ini fake nvapi.tll Fake NV API will replace the in-game reflex implementation with XCSS low latency mode. Not using Nukem 9 Smart. Vulkan version of Fidelity FX not required. Just select all of the TX12 versions of Fidelity FX files. 10 files selected. Right click. Copy. Paste the files in the games installed directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click. Manage. Click on Browse Local Files. Open. End game folder. Binaries folder, Win64 folder, paste everything here. Now we just need to change the name of octiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll. Mod has been installed. Enabling hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting is not a mandatory requirement for using XCFG, but if you have an RTX GPU, it's recommended to enable this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics. Click on advanced graphics settings and from here enable hardware accelerated GPU shuttling setting. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable VSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings, click on program settings. From this top turn bar, select Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. Scroll down to the end and enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on setup G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. I enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on display. Check the setting G-Sync compatible indicator. We'll be using RTSS and Afterburner to show you the performance stats. Just open RTSS. Click on setup here. Scroll down to the end. Make sure enable frame rate limiter and inject NVIDIA reflex latency marker settings are disabled. Just enable use Microsoft D2's API hooking setting. Ready to launch the game. We are in the games menu, check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Render preset used is E, version 310.3.0, it's the CNN model of DLSS upscaler. 
base resolution full hd of scale to full hd i am using dla dlss auto exposure setting is off in game settings display mode set to borderless full screen required for using xss frame gen full hd resolution frame rate 120 can't go higher than this display sync tag vr my monitor supports it dla i have set the minimum and maximum dynamic resolution scaling values to 100 percent texture resolution set to medium rest on the setting set to high don't want the vram usage to exceed 8 gb anti-lazing method dlss don't have access to dlss frame generation yet first i'll show you the base game performance once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. I'll increase the menu size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale, set the value to 1. Upscaler DLSS. Just enable auto explore setting from OptiScaler mod. It's under edit flag section. This will enable DLSS auto explore setting. See? Okay, now I'll show you how to change the render preset of DLSS. Check this setting. Render presets override under DLSS setting section. Click on the drop down bar next to override preset and select preset K from here. Now click on apply changes. This will activate the transformer model of TLSS subscaler. See render preset change to K. Frame generation disabled for the timing. I'll just enable optic scaler's performance overlay. Expand FPS overlay section. Check the setting FPS overlay enable. Full plus graph. Scale 1.3. Save INI. Close. Yeah, this is a character cloud. You can see some weird artifacts around Cloud's character model against a tree. There's a tree in the background. This is why I didn't use DLSS upscaling. There is some ghosting. Okay, here FPS is within a range of 60 to 70. I'm in grasslands, big open area. VRAM usage is around 7.4 GB. This is why I didn't set texture quantity setting to high. Quickly engage in combat. There can be a few hitches here and there, especially when you play the game for the first time. Shader compilation related stutters. Overall experience is good. Yes, yeah, 60 to 70 FPS during combat. Now I'll show you how to enable OptiScale FSR frame generation. This creature is still alive, my bad. Just open the menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select DLSS UI Streamline as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select FSI FG as the option. Click on save and I close. We just need to restart the game. Play. After restarting the game, you should be able to access the in-game DLSS frame generation setting. Just set it to two times. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu and check this setting active under Frame Generation FSI FG. This will enable FSR Frame Generation. Quickly show you FSR Frame Gen Debug View. Check this setting Debug View. Your displays are working properly for all of the images. No HUD elements are visible in the bottom middle image. Games HUD elements. DLSS Debug Overlay is visible. Just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details. It's going to flicker with FSR Frame Gen on. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR frame gen will work properly. I'll quickly test it as well. Just apply a 30 FPS cap from the in-game settings. Just set the frame rate to 30 FPS. As I have FSR frame generation enabled, here FPS is around 60. Animation quality, it's not looking choppy. This is the smoothing effect of FSR frame generation. I'll just disable it via OptiScaler menu. Animation quality will become very choppy now. See? It's looking very bad. So smoothing effect of FSR frame generation is working properly. Remove the 30 FPS cap. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS is close to 110. Not observing any significant graphical artifacts with FSR frame generation. Just some upscaling related artifacts. Our character shadow, it's not flickering. We have seen this happening in a lot of games with FSR frame gen. Quickly engage in combat. 
games hard elements they are not flickering frame generation really helps in improving frame pacing that choppiness is gone now 100 fps during combat I observed some texture pop-in issue in the background Maybe due to the game running out of VRAM Yeah, it's close to 7.8 GB Can see some grass getting rendered right in front of me Okay, now I'll show you how to use XCSS frame generation Just open the mod menu, make sure DLSS GY streamline is selected as the FG source Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG just uncheck the active setting under FSR frame gen, save and close, again restart the game. Again make sure that the in-game DLSS frame generation setting is enabled, set it to two times. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu, check the setting active under frame generation XCFG. This will enable XCSS frame gen, frame time graph became thick, XCSS debug view. If XCSS frame gen is working, you'll see these purple sidebars flickering. And check the debug view i'll also show you show detected ui setting yeah games hard elements will be highlighted pink in color they won't flicker with xcss frame gen enable let's just play the game uncheck show detected ui settings highlight the smoothing effect of xcfg apply a 30 fps cap from the in-game settings xcfg is on so we are getting 60 fps this is the animation quality it's not looking choppy i'll just disable xcfg active setting unchecked and yeah, now look at the animation quality it's looking so jarring so xcfg smoothing effect is working properly oh my god so bad enable xcfg frame rate set it to 120 back to the game yeah now we're getting 110 fps oh my god look at that animation quality but very smooth very good results produced by xcfg again no artifacts are produced around cloud and just some fuzzy looking textures produced by TLA character shadow it's not flickering I'll engage in combat the yeah, games hard elements they are not flickering as well we were getting around 100 FPS with FSR frame gen roughly the same performance with XCFG 105 to 108 FPS performance difference is well within the margin of error you can use either frame generation technique in this game but i'll be honest xcfg's latency is slightly lower than that of fsr frame gen i would recommend using xcfg it's up to you before ending the video i'll show you how to disable dlss debug overlay just need to edit overlay.reg file that we created earlier select the file right click open with notepad replace the number 4 head with 0 click on file click on save close and run this registry file right click open yes okay that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day